everybody, this is Mr. Walsh, and I'm going to spend a little time in this video going over some of the highlights of the uh, course syllabus for Chem 107, Section 650 this summer. The first thing that I think it's important to lead with is that this is a seven-week class that starts on July 8th and goes until August 25th of this summer. The class itself is normally a 14-week class during the normal fall and spring uh, semesters, but since this class is seven weeks, uh, you can probably do the math and figure out that this class is going to move twice as fast. You have uh, half the time to do the same amount of work. So it's um, it's uh, it can be a little bit of uh, crunch time for the next seven weeks as we uh, work our way through the class. Uh, but you probably knew that when you signed up for it. I hear a lot of students when they sign up for this class that, uh, you know, they took it over the summer because they just wanted to get it over with. So um, that's fine as long as you realize right from the beginning that it's going to be um, it's going to it's going to be a time commitment. Um, I'm used to teaching this live. I have taught this live for several years in the summer, and when I do, it's um, just to give you an idea. It's a it's two days a week, and the lecture is two days a week, and it's a four hour each uh, each day. So that's it's at least eight hours for um, for two days a week. So that's what it would be like if you were doing this. Um, in person. So uh, hopefully that doesn't get you too nervous. Uh, but uh, you're going to go through and you have to get the software. Uh, if we if we get started in what you need, you're going to need to get the software, uh, which is this, uh, which is run through Sapling Plus. It's this introductory chemistry book um, by Kevin Ravel. It's really good. Uh, it comes with a lot of support material for the class. Um, and it'd be really good if you got a calculator, um, or at least have a calculator that you know how to use. Um, as somebody who's been a teacher for a long time, I always suggest to students that they get a standalone calculator and not use the one in their cell phone. Um, I know that sounds weird, but as somebody who has been teaching for a long time, I think, um, some people have a hard time getting their cell phone to act the way that they want it to um, in terms of a calculator. So I've seen a lot of mistakes. Um, not to say that you don't know how to use your calculator if, you know, if you're on your cell phone. So if you feel comfortable using your cell phone calculator, that's fine. But I definitely think a scientific calculator uh, or a calculator that can deal with scientific notation is important. Um, go through all the general education outcomes, all this stuff. Um, it is a distance learning course, so in terms of um, attendance and policies, the whole idea here is that because you're we're um, going pretty um, aggressive at the class, you're going to have to make sure that you are completing the assignments on time. There will be assignments assigned every week, um, and the the course. Uh, software, the Sapling Plus actually shuts down the assignments after that week. So you have to make sure you get it in in the week that it's assigned. So um, here's the grade uh, termination. Here's how it's going to go. It's total points. There's six exams in seven weeks. So you can do the math. That's going to be about an exam every week. Um, and keep in mind that uh, because of the summer and all this crazy stuff that's going on. Um, we aren't offering any retakes for exams. So you can see how this is going here. Um, in terms of um, assignments, uh, here's a course schedule of all the assignments. And the thing to point out is this little note, double star note at the bottom. Um, the assignments come fast and furious, and it doesn't seem like they add up um, to a whole bunch. But there is a total of 215 uh, points in the assignment, uh, uh, total points in, in the assignment. You will be graded out of 120. So um, a lot of times the homework is really just uh, to get you so that you can understand the questions that they're going to ask on the exam every week. Um so just keep in mind that you'll want to 
um, get at least 120. I would recommend doing all of it because as it gets graded, um, you want to make sure you have as much leeway um, as you as you can with uh, with getting your assignments in. So you'll notice that there is an exam every week starting with week two, um, and then the the last exam um, during the final week during week seven is a 50 point exam. Um, but you do all that math and you end up with uh, something like 600 and some odd points, 670 points or 680 points. Okay, so there's lots of points to be earned and we can go from there. Um, in, this, in the um, syllabus, there's also this exam schedule um, that you can have and then it also lists every single assignment and which week it is due. Okay, so that way you know how many assignments, when it's due, depending on what kind of person you are in terms of scheduling. So that's the whole thing about the um, syllabus. Um, you'll have it as a PDF. This is the Word version of the syllabus, so that's um, that's why it may look slightly different. Um, but it's a it's a pretty fun class. I really enjoy teaching the class and. Yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm going to scroll back up here. You'll see that my email is dwalsh at rcbc.edu. And you can also message me through the Blackboard course shell. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay, everybody, have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.